Hey, it's Sabrina with Wildlife X Team, and I'm going to talk to you about the Pink Fairy Armadillo. The Pink Fairy Armadillo is an armadillo species. It is the smallest of all known armadillos. Um, their body length, excluding their tails, is um, 90 millimeters and 150 millimeters. 150 mil millimeters so it ranges between there of all armadillo species this is the only armadillo whose dorsal shell is totally separate from its body it is connected to the body with only a thin membrane which runs along its spine the pink color of its shell comes from underlying blood vessels which show through the shell it is in the blood in the blood vessels that create the pink rose and pink hue color the shell is actually fragile and pretty flexible this means that the shell is not used as a protective armor scientists think that the shell is more for thermal regulation the, sh the color of the shell can actually change depending on the environment in which the animal is put in Based on the environmental facts, irrigation of blood into the blood vessels can actually increase or decrease and thereby lead to the change in color. When more blood flows into the shell, it is carapace. The temperature of the creature's body falls and draining blood out of the shell helps the pink fairy armadillo to retain its body heat. When more blood flows into or actually beneath the carapace of or the shell is uh, silky fur which is yellowish white in color now the pink and the white combination may sound weird in the desert setting because these colors can attract predators pink fairy armadillo however is subterranean subterranean and barely stays above the ground for a few moments so the pink and white is actually pretty fine one last thing is weirdly the pink fairy armadillo doesn't really dig through sand it actually digs through comparatively firm earth the reason for it being such an efficient digger is that it actually has enormous front claws these claws are so big that it can barely walk on any hard surface surface